As the COVID-19 pandemic continues impacting Mississippi, arguably one of the hardest hit areas left in the wake of COVID-19 are schools. And as talks continue over how and when to reopen. 12 News, Melanie Christopher takes us to one of the state's largest universities to show us how leaders are working behind the scenes to get students back on campus. Tonight, our focus on the education equation takes us to one of the state's large universities. The University of Southern Mississippi in Hattiesburg has been working on a plan to bring returning students back to campus and welcome freshmen for months. The administration is following CDC and state health department guidelines, but they realize that no matter how much physical preparation you do, it won't be successful unless every student is on board. Take a look at how they plan to make that happen. When the University of Southern Mississippi opens next month, it will welcome back a population of more than 14,000 students, a lot of people to keep socially distanced. But administrators are confident all its planning will pay off with a successful and full fall semester. Hey, if we want to get through this semester, these are the things we have to do at Southern Miss. The VP of Student Affairs says she spent hours working with student government, student groups, fraternities, and sororities, making sure campus leaders are on board with the changes that have to happen. And they understand that, that their, their behaviors impact the health of someone else, and that, that by them wearing a mask, they're not putting others at risk. And so our students are aware that this is bigger than, than them. This is bigger than their fraternity or sorority. This is bigger than Southern Miss. This is about saving people's lives. And so they get that and we've stressed that and um, they're gonna work with us and they're gonna go to the top together with us. USM will offer some classes in person using social distancing guidelines. And when we made the decisions of which classes we would offer in person, we then shifted those classes into larger classrooms so that all of our classrooms are enrolled at about 25% capacity and we will have assigned seating in those classrooms that spread students out at that minimum of six feet apart and we will block off chairs. Courses will be taught using a hybrid model of both in class and online and there will also be total remote learning available. USM faculty have been told to prepare for anything. We realize that there is a possibility that, that students may be exposed to COVID or they may be infected themselves and need to not attend class. So every faculty member is, has been working with us to design a class such that a student can complete the work remotely if they're unable to attend class. So we are expecting to accommodate students if they have that situation arise and we want to ensure that all students who begin the semester will be able to complete their courses even if they need for health and safety reasons to not attend class in person. The university requires face mass for all students, faculty and staff when on campus and signage is in the works. In the hallways of the buildings and around campus we'll also will have signage set up to remind people about distancing. We will have stickers on the floors, signage up marking the flow of traffic. We'll be marking off certain stairwells as either up or down to try to control the flow of traffic. Now after months of preparation USM believes it's prepared to welcome students back. I think everyone understands that this fall will not be the same as any other fall and that they know that if they want to get through the fall and be able to finish out the semester that they've got to do these things that we're asking them to do. Currently, Conference USA, the athletic conference for USM, continues to consider its options for a fall sports season. We'll keep you updated.